All right, the great search brought to you by DigiKey Adafruit. Made in America. There's nothing more American than Lady Ada, DigiKey, and the Great Search. So what we're are we? American companies. We're American. What are we doing this week? Okay. So it's uh, as always. It's a part shortage, and so we're coming up with all these techniques. And as, every day, I'm spending like a significant amount of my time um, doing um, parts, alternative sourcing, and like finding, you know, what what parts to get when we can't get certain parts. And some things I definitely can't get, but sometimes. There's like little things that you take for granted, like things that I w normally wouldn't have to chase after, um, but because there's a shortage and I, I'm not sure I'm gonna get some parts, um, I'm trying to be a little bit more flexible. So Everything is suspect now. It's a little suspect. Well, yeah. you know, we, we did we talked about flip-flop packages before, we talked about alternatives, how to find yeah. alternatives a bunch of times. It's funny, when we first started the great search, I was like, oh, maybe we'll do one or two episodes where we do alternative sourcing. And now it's like no. every, every episode. In fact, all the comments across all the social media platforms, um, you can see it from professional engineers all the way to beginners are saying, this is the best series because I can't find anything anymore. Okay, so here, here's a, here's well, maybe I'll do a, a twofer. Maybe I'll do a twofer. All right. So let's go to the computer and I'll show the thing that I was tasked with today. So um, we make this really nice universal thermocouple amplifier with the Max 31856, and you can see it's out of stock. It's out of stock. Why? Because there's a part shortage. Uh, and so the team was like, hey, you know, we have, we bought a reel of these on order, and, you know, you can back order, and it takes a while to ship, and they're like, but, you know, we just ran out, so can you, like, maybe scrounge a couple just to hold us over until the reel comes in? And the reason um, we couldn't find any is because, uh, sorry, it didn't, didn't ship yet is because the part number in our internal system for how we like track it is this, the max 318, 31856 MUD plus T. And the plus T stands for plus tape and reel. It's on the tape and reel. We buy, we like to buy in reels because the pick and place loves the reel. It's so easy to load it in. They're easy to store. They don't run everywhere. Um, and so we, uh, traditionally would just buy a reel of uh, these fellers and get them and load them in. But um, again, we back ordered it and it hadn't shipped yet. And so I was like, oh, well, let me see what else is available. And it says, oh, alternative packaging. And I, this is a new thing you get added. So be sure to click on that. And when you click on that, it's like they have thousands in stock, 13,000. There's like more than I could ever use. Um, and it's the same part. I'm not used to seeing that. <laughs> what? 12,000? I know, it's shocking. <laughs> like, is, is that, that a mistake? Yeah, that's no, real. But this is time... Is that how much it costs? <laughs> it, that actually costs. It's, it's, it's how much... Which is interesting, right? So this is tube. So parts that come in tubes, um, dip chips, you know, historically have come in tubes, but um, you can get SOIC chips. And like Maxim and like microchips seem to be really into like shipping stuff in tubes. Now, personally... I have never seen anyone who says I prefer tubes. Um, they're annoying to handle. You you have to pop each one open, and um, you have to like do this weird cut thing to load them into the pick and place. So, oftentimes when you're doing manufacturing, your manufacturing partner will say like, "Please don't ship us tubes. Um, we really want things in cut tape with leaders or in reels so we can load them into the machine." Another thing is that you often can't have more than one chip into even if you do have a tube loading part for. Uh, you know, vibrator for your picking place, you only do one. So you're probably like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? You know, do I have to like hand place these? No, because one of the things you can do is you can get tubed parts taped. Try saying that 10 times fast. So what you do is you buy the, the, the tubes and then you send it to a taping agency and then the agency will um, put, you know, do the work of putting it into a custom tape and reel for you. Are you going to pay a little bit? Yeah, there's a setup fee, and then you're going to pay a couple cents per part to get it taped. Of course, you know, weird shaped parts are going to be more expensive. Um, but we like to use Argosy. Um, that's my recommendation, so that's my tip. Um, Does anyone say, I'm going to send it to the agency? No, they just say they're going to Does anyone ever talk like that? They said they're going to send it to Argosy. Yeah, all right. Argosy, the agency. I'm going to send it to the Argosy. So this is this is cool. So they 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 do this a lot. They're in California. Um, we use them. You have a lead time about a week. You can even drop ship your tubes to them directly, and then put in the purchase order, and they'll they'll take care of it. And I've always had excellent luck. They are really good at always putting the parts you know identically, like nothing gets rotated. Um, and we use them all the time. So there's some parts that we use that don't even come on tape and reel. 
um, so we use Argosy. There may be other services services that do this, but this is the one we use and I've had excellent luck with them. So I think it's a good partner. Digikey to get the parts and then Argosy to get them taped. And that's my great search. It's a little bit more of a hint than a search, uh, but it's part of how to deal with a part shortage. Got to be a little bit flexible. Go tube, why not? That's a great search. Go America. Happy birthday, America. Happy birthday, America. Bye-bye.